they were typically very difficult businesses to sell. It's difficult to sell a, a good business, but to sell a bad business in some cases is, is very difficult. Three of the five businesses went to management and um, one was to the previous owner. So two went to the existing management and one of those two went to the previous CEO of the group. So it was really as a result of the, of the exit. There hasn't been any negative impact of it. Um, the, the most recent business that we sold was Columbia in Cape Town and uh, that was a very difficult deal to do and management eventually put up their hand to buy it. It's not an easy space that they're operating in. It's a very, very uh, competitive market in Cape Town. They weren't easy deals to do but fortunately we've got them all away and um, I think for, the, for our business going forward, which is the focus, it it's, was the correct thing to do. We have different investors at the moment. I mean, I, I know that a lot of people speculate on Buildmax and as a small cap and they use it to, to buy and sell. And now I know the same people would have a longer term holding. So you often get uh, people with both, you know. And um, I certainly view it as a, as a, as a long term play. Unfortunately, we haven't been in a position to pay dividends. So, um, and I think that will be the case for the foreseeable future because our CapEx requirements are, are high and the, the business needs the, the cash. Um, having said that though, the cash flow has improved immensely and um, that will come out in the financial results. You'll see that coming through and we believe that that trend will follow, you know, and uh, if the funding environment is buoyant and we can continue to borrow without having to pay big deposits, you never know whether, um, you know, possibly dividends could be um, something for the, for the medium term future. And I think that would definitely um, attract investors and make it a more um, long-term um, hold. I think if you if you want to be a, a miner, you need to have a big balance sheet to be able to be a significant miner. And our philosophy is not to to compete with our customers, and that's the view we've taken. Some of our competitors have chosen to own mines, and uh, to try and be both. But we've said that we'd rather be a service provider to the sector and focus on that and earn credibility in that field as opposed to trying to be you know, very small in something. So we can't really be significant if we're a mine owner. Our prices aren't directly related to the, the coal price, but you know, at the end of the day, if our customers' um, margins improve and their destiny improves, they will obviously be more friendly towards us, you know, so they can afford to pay us more. So we're very cognizant of it. We do watch it carefully. We always monitor our cost um, versus what we see as the overall coal cost of production. And we cognizant of that. And we see ourselves in, in, you know, in our role within our space to see how we can always maximize the opportunity for our client. But also, you know, in, in mining, you can, take, you can make some short-term decisions to get product out, which have longer-term ramifications. So we also advise our clients very strictly on what we think is the most optimum mining plan. And we use that, we believe that we've got good skills with regard to that. And they certainly do engage us with regard to that. We don't have any direct linked uh, prices on link to the risk uh, to, to commodity prices. I think we're far better prepared for any sort of double dip uh, activity. You know, we really do maintain our equipment exceptionally well now. We, we've got our gearing under control. We, we've really been, we took uh, massive impairments on our assets to get the assets on our books down to realistically market related values, um, which are in line with the asset value as opposed to uh, what is commonly known as a value in use. We, we you know, they're, they're, they're you know, relatively conservative uh, asset values, which we believe are correct and it's the correct way to account. And uh, so we, we don't think that we are going to see the uh, you know, the negative impact that happened to Buildmax the last time um, through a tough recession. Um, obviously, on that, bank funding would typically tighten up and the continuous replacement. So that would possibly be a challenge always to get bank funding. But um, at the moment, we're getting good support and we, con we see that continuing for the next uh, the foreseeable future. Uh, govern government infrastructure spend is obviously a... Um, a dripping roast for the construction sector and business in general. I think, I think it's very reliant, however, on, 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 on funding, in funding put in, put in place. 
there's been a lot of talk about the projects and everybody's waiting with bated breath for them to come off. But they certainly would uh, directly and indirectly benefit us. You know, we would possibly not always supply directly to government, but we would get the uh, uptick on the whole, on the whole, on the whole environment improving, um, the, especially on our quarry businesses. There are a lot of projects on the go. There's, um, you know, and that will come through new projects as well as improved efficiencies. If you expect to be able to, in business generally, if you expect to be able to just tick along and not improve yourself and cut cost and all the rest of it, you, you know, you, you are going to, in my opinion, uh, come up against it. Um, you need to be able to continuously improve yourself to meet your customer expectations. And that means you've got to improve your efficiencies in mining, you've got to look at your costs continuously, you've got to be introspective. Fortunately, even though we've turned the corner in a massive way, it's, the, the scope for, a, for further improvement in our lives is huge. It's, um, we really just uh, every day are being able to focus on fresh new things and tick off uh, you know, as we go, as we improve. So it's, it's quite a nice place to be, to be honest.